Hello, it's Ruth Coffee on a repeat. I am hiding in my guest room. I probably have five minutes before somebody needs me, the dog barks. So we're gonna try to do this, catch up with the reviews. I keep meaning to do reviews, I really do. I think the last one was a chorus review. We have changed two watches, but since then, I went to the Phoenix 6 and now I'm on the 7. And uh, I will do a review on that at some point. But today we're here to talk about the Nathan Vapor Air. I know what to do with the Patagonia review. Um, I need to order it first. This one was on sale for 50 bucks on Amazon and I buy my own packs, so 50 bucks on Amazon. I think right now it's 74, but still, I mean, that's a really good deal for a hydration pack. Um, it comes with your two liter Hydrovac. I have it filled up because I used it for another um, pack on Sunday, I used it to bike. So um, you can use it for this pack, you can use it for another pack. On the back you've got, let's see, here's the zipper pocket. It goes all the way to here. And then behind that, you've got the dump pocket, which goes all the way to the base of it. And then a separate sleeve for your bladder with the Velcro. Typically, I hate Velcro. This one is not really a problem at all. That's the only Velcro on the entire pack. And I'm okay with that. So you got your, your bladder here. You got your two places where you can kind of run it through, but it only has this little tab right here to kind of tuck the, the straw in on the right side. Looking at the front of the pouch, you got these two zippers in the front on the top, and then you have these bigger um, stretch pockets and then the dump pockets with the Velcro. There are two other zipper pockets here where you've got the um, tightening for the side if you wanted to make it smaller. Um, my big complaint with this pack is that you're supposed to be able to kind of tighten it on the go, and that never worked for me. Um, so I kind of had to fit it and tighten it and then I still noticed that it loosened up a little bit. So if you really need to like make it small, you're going to have to, you're going to have to tie it down or keep it from re-expanding because it will stretch out. Is that the end of the world? No, it's, it's generally a good pack. Um, you could put so much gear in this pack. You've got your pull straps in the back, um, with the toggles and those are a really nice, easy way to fit your poles. It fits Z poles. Um, I think it'll fit just about any, any kind of pull you're kind of working with. These little pockets are great for just filling up the trash or just like easy to grab things. You've got lots of places to put things if you don't want to lose them. Um, I think about eye drops in here still. It's, it's generally just a really nice pack. The right here, it's nice and soft. And then, um, in the front, I'm going to try to do this without snagging my hair again because it happens. All right, so in the front, we've got, these can be adjusted on the rails, which is nice for adjusting on the go. Right there. Um, I actually have it all the way in. Uh, I actually have it tightened here too. So if you're super petite, you might want to go with one of the more women's specific fit ones that they have. I find that Nathan is with their women's packs, they're really, really small. And then the men's packs are really, really small, but the unisex packs are really, really like, they fit a wider variety. Um, I think in the women's packs, the one time I was looking at the Vapor How, I was looking at having to get a large or an extra large, and I was at the time a size four. So <laughs> their packs run kind of small and tiny. Um, right now I am a 34, well, technically I'm a 33C, but that doesn't exist. So I'm either a 34B or a 32D. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of chest size. My long bardest part is a 36. Um, and I think this fits all the way up to, I want to say 40, um, but you want to check the specs because um, I think some of the size charts had different things. Is this a pack that I would use for a marathon? No. Is this a pack that I would use for a huge day of adventure where I have to pack all the snacks and the first aid kit and like a headlamp and all the all this stuff? Yes, I would absolutely use this pack for that. It's a great adventure pack. Um, I just haven't been using it as my daily driver because if you've seen my other video, like I love the pack. The Patagonia Slip Runner is like my ride or die because it's so light, comfortable, and it doesn't ruin my shirts. And uh, I like the front bottle. So that's usually what I go for about 90% of my runs. Um, sometimes I go with the larger uh, Slip Runner, the 8 
liter and then I'll throw this one in here because my original bottle got a little a little accident involving um, some scratch and dark space for a while so I had to replace the bottle but um, let me know if you have any questions on this pack this one um, typically if I don't like a pack I sell it or I um, pass it on to friends I'm actually keeping this one in the rotation so um, if you're looking for a not very expensive pack to go and do some summer adventures, maybe some longer trail runs, or if you're training for an ultra, this is a great one. I mean, this is, you're not going to put out too, too much money on it, and uh, it's going to get you a lot of mileage. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I will try to get that 18 liter ordered, although I'm, I'm telling you, Patagonia has that slope runner in the new color, the blue, and it's a really pretty blue, so I'm going to have to think about that one. That's we're gonna have to think because that blue, I don't know. Well, we'll see which one I end up with, but I will be getting another Patagonia pack and I will probably be doing a really delayed um, review on the Phoenix and why this six did not work for me whatsoever. So that's it.